Hey guys, so we've got six new NHL Hut Awards cards that were released today. We're going to break all of those down. Again, if you're looking for daily hockey ultimate team content all the way through the summer and into the next game, be sure to subscribe to the channel. So let's get into all of the new cards for today. And we're going to kick things off with my favorite goaltender of all time, Evgeny Nabokov. Man, EA loves my sharks, and I am thrilled about it. If you are looking for a goaltender, though, that you know you can use competitively and rely upon, this wouldn't be it, as Evgeny Nabokov is only six foot. And a lot of people don't even realize that he won the Calder Trophy uh, way, way back. So, if we look at his build, I mean, his stats are fine. 93 glove high, 93 positioning, 80 aggression, that's fine. But again, he's six foot. so while I love Nabokov, uh, if you're looking to play hut champs, things like that, or improve upon the game, this one wouldn't be it. Following him, we've got the 96 overall, Scott Gomez, 5'11", 200 pounds. Again, it's going to be tough because he is under six foot. Does have 99 draws, though. 97 skating across the board and does have X, so he's going to be at max no matter what. Then his accuracy and shot power at 95 and 99, respectively, with his hand stats all at basically 99. This is a fantastic card, regardless of his size. I mean, if you are able to use uh, Sidney Crosby or the Zetterberg and you like their builds, you're going to like Scott Gomez. He's going to play a lot like them. I personally won't be using him just because, again, um, Bigger builds tend to play better for my play style, but uh, if you were able to get Scott Gomez, it's not a bad card. I would sell, in my opinion. There are a lot better centermen than him, but uh, not a bad card whatsoever. Following him, we've got the 98 overall, Elias Pettersson, 6'2", 99 skating, 99 shooting, 99 basically everything. Uh, the only thing he doesn't have is good face-off, so you're going to have to use him on the wing. The one thing I will say, and I've said this ever since last year, really, Elias Pettersson cards, for whatever reason, I feel just cannot be used well in the way that this game is played holding him off the puck and whatnot he is big at six foot two but he's so slender at 176 i feel like weight plays a factor i know a lot of pro players that don't like his build however i know a lot of pro players that do so it's all gonna be down to preference um i think that there's a lot better left-handed wingers that you could use uh, not many but there are some uh, and i know that people are gonna spend up you know an absolute ton to get this Pedersen card as he's one of the most popular guys in the game so keep that in mind but yeah a fantastic left-handed winger card for sure in the 98 Elias Pedersen probably one of my most hated players of all time the 98 Corey Perry six foot three 99 skating 95 accuracy with or sorry 96 accuracy with 99 power hand stats all in the high 90s body checking 97 um, again, a, a fantastic high-end card. The stats aren't really going to lie here. And unfortunately for me, uh, he is one of the better builds in the game. This is he, his his prior card was fantastic, and he's one of the best right-handed winger cards that you can get. He has a build that's almost identical to Alex Ovechkin. Um, yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> I can't stand Corey Perry. Just absolutely cannot stand him. But here we are. Moving on to the 98, Scott Niedemeyer, uh, six foot one, 200 pounds, 99 skating shot. Um, you know, for a 98 overall card with 96 power, 90 accuracy, kind of a little bit to be desired here. 99, basically everything else. Um, I think that there are a few better left-handed defensemen. I'd rather have Hedman. I'd rather have the 93 Char. I'd rather have the Pronger still. Um, so again, keep that in mind. In my opinion, I would sell. I'd actually rather have the Bo the 97 Bowmeister as well. Um, I would sell as a, you're going to get a ton of coins for him as well, and then you could probably grab one of those three. Um, you know, just fantastic card though. Regardless, if you like Scott Niedermeyer, like you're not going to be disappointed at all. He's he's a great card. And then lastly, we have the 98 Victor Hedman, 6'6", 223, 99 skating, 98 power, 91 accuracy. Um, high 90s for passing puck control and body checking, and his awarenesses are almost perfect as well. Uh, this is one of the best left-handed defensemen in the game, even though there is a 99 version. If you were to pack this Victor Hedman, just keep it, as uh, the 98 version is not really going to give you any much, you know, any any more of a hit than the 99 would. Um, and he, like I said, the best left-handed defenseman in the game. So if you're able to grab this card, you probably actually would be able to get him a little bit cheaper than his 99 version, which I would be all for if you're able to do that. However, he does have a ton of synergies, but yeah, one of the best cards in the game, and the awards version is no different. And then among the prime times that came out, the 96 Damon Severson is mildly interesting. The UC Soros, though, at 93 isn't. Uh, there's a lot of uh, AHLers and whatnot that got an upgrade in Europeans. I, I feel like there's a few that they're just trying to get the um, Team of the Year's up. 
But uh, other than that, not really a big content day other than those six new NHL award cards. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And please subscribe if you haven't already for daily NHL content. I'll see you guys tomorrow.